thousand people that were food insecure. Due to COVID, the number has risen, and now it's up to ninety-five thousand people, and the number continues to grow as COVID becomes a larger concern to us. Hi, my name is Danison. I'm the founder of Refood Food Rescue Foundation. I saw there was a huge gap of food that was being thrown out on a day-to-day -day basis. So what happened? I found where the food was, and I worked with a lot of the actual food vendors to make sure that food wasn't thrown out. So I was driving around in my tiny little Honda, loading it up with food, just trying to find other charities that were in need that needed to help who didn't know what kind of problem I was actually solving, which ended up being a very large problem. I started ReFood in 2015, so over five years. ReFood Food Rescue Foundation works a lot with Save On Foods and many other food vendors out in the Lower Mainland. And uh, we're very happy we can work with other charitable organizations that we can donate that food to. My name is Kayvon. Um, I've been working for the Burnaby Neighborhood House for the last 12 years. We just started our food bank program back in March because of the pandemic in partnership with the Greater Vancouver Food Bank. And so we are helping to serve about 600, 700 individuals every week, which is about 200 or so uh, households. ReFood contributes really well. Uh, we get deliveries from ReFood every Wednesday evening, uh, and they drop off a whole bunch of fruits and veggies and milk and bread and a lot of essential items for our, our families that come by for the food bank. ReFood currently works around the clock. We're basically seven days a week. Like, how can you help ReFood? Number one is, if you have time, please volunteer two hours of your time, and that helps 200 families. Two, you can donate funds. As little as $20 will make a huge difference to help feed those 200 people every single week as well.